Hey guys, it's Kylie. I know it's been a long time, um, especially since I've done a video by myself, but I did, we've gone through it. It's been a while, it's been about two months. Still have not given you makeup collection, a room tour, anything like that. So today I am just going to do my makeup collection. I know it's been a while, but I've gotten some really cool new things over the last couple months. So we're gonna get into that. I do want to start a TikTok soon and get into trying new products for you guys because I think you guys would like that. But let me know in the comments and make sure you like and subscribe. But let's get into it and I'll show you a little bit of my bedroom. Just a little bit though because it's dirty. So this is my desk area, you know, where all the work gets done. I keep all my sticky notes around, stuff like that. And then this is my Alex drawer where I keep all the makeup. But yeah, this is my room currently. I have my beautiful little mirror. This is my new camera, by the way. It's the PowerShot G7 Mark II. But I really do love it. I've had it for a little bit. And I have not filmed on it. Because I've been waiting for my new laptop, which just got here today. Some truly exciting new changes are really going to be coming soon. I truly want to get on a more consistent basis with you guys. I really miss you guys. On Wednesday, Thursday. And just make sure they're done those two days. Probably about 11 a.m. That's usually the time I post. Anyway, let's get into my makeup collection. Um bottom drawer is hair again super unorganized so we're just gonna go through it i get a lot of brand new products from work so that makes it really easy to try new stuff and yeah this is my way scalp scrub love this guy the hot teddy do you guys want just a makeup collection or do you guys enjoy watching me go through. I think I'm just gonna go through my entire Alex drawer. Side note for you guys, I don't know if any of you have ever tried IGK, but they make some of the best styling products, not sponsored, but if you're watching, let me know, because love their products. I own their dry hair mask and their thickening spray. I did have their texture spray, but I did just give it away to a friend. Kenra's Volume Boost, pretty good. Like Kenra, they're a beautiful brand. Dry bar. I have some very favorite brands. I did get off of using aerosol dry shampoo. Now I'm on powder. This is the Briogeo. I don't really know how you say it, but that's just what I'm going with. Olplex. I have not tried this, so I will do a review on how you guys and how I like that. My favorite leave in conditioner right now is this caviar. This truly hair mask that I've never tried. Leave-in conditioner. Another leave-in hair strengthener. This is a plumping treatment. I've never tried this. I have a lot of products that I either haven't tried yet or just haven't had the time to get to in my normal routine. This is a Bumble and Bumble hair thickening spray. This is my way. Detox shampoo. Adore this. If you don't own it, get it. I got Shan addicted to it, so it's just a good old time. My absolute favorite hairspray is the Flex from Living Proof. Amazing. A mini aerosol, but it's by IGK. Hair mask, hair gloss. Shampoo from Maui Moisture, which used to be one of my favorite brands. I don't use it too much anymore, but still a really good brand. Really nice quality prices. Kenra Hydro Gel. This is the Acid Bonding Complex from Redken. I've heard this is really good. Still have yet to try it. The Wow. I bet you guys have heard about this. You need it. It is an essential in somebody's hair kit. Um, this is a hair gloss. Again, haven't used it. Rose water mask from TGIN. I don't know if you guys enjoy watching me do this, but I hope you do. But, 
yeah as i was saying earlier i think the last two months it's been two months since i've seen you guys can you believe that i feel like they've been a little frustrating it's become very freeing to just be open and honest with myself and i'm really just on a big like self-help journey i'm trying to grow me so that i can grow you and that we can all just grow together because my main goal here is just to create a community and an environment where we can all just be happy and honest and true to ourselves and maybe that doesn't always mean we're the happiest but we can dang try can't we this is my skincare drawer i have been super into skincare lately lately that's been my whole routine i've been spending about 20 30 minutes on skincare every day in my morning and night routine which we'll get a video out soon but i've only been spending about 10 minutes a day on my makeup so we are trying to get that i did actually do my makeup today so very proud of myself um i have some of the tony moly face masks I have some of the crane shop ones and they're retinol. They're okay. They're fine. I've had them for forever. Um, the Saint Tropez Tanner is oh so good. Maylie's makes flat and they're B tight. This is a butt mask and this is like a tummy mask. And they like heat up and it is the weirdest feeling I have ever felt. But if you guys want to splurge, I think they're really nice products. I haven't used them consistently enough to really see a difference, but I truly enjoy them. They're super fun. Um, I have the Beekman Bloom Cream. In my skincare, I'm very much a finish it before you start a new one kind of person. So a lot of this stuff I haven't even touched yet. Um, Mighty Marshmallow by Bliss. Bliss used to be one of my favorite companies. Um, the Hero Patches. They're the only ones that work. I adore them. They're just so amazing. And honestly, their quality is really nice. This is the Snail Mucin from CosRx. I have not tried it yet, but super excited to. I'm using their cleanser and their moisturizer right now, and I adore them. Love the consistency. This is one of those, like, devices where you, like, go up and stuff. I think it's supposed to take all the excess oil off your face. Could not tell you what it does, but I do like to use it. Sometimes I'm in the whole skincare aesthetic just to make myself happy. Like, I wake up in the morning and one of the first things I do is do my skincare. And it just makes me feel so much better about the day. And it just, I feel like it gives me the glow that I need. And sometimes I wish I had naturally. Um, there's the Pericone Cold Plasma. Really good. I have not tried it, but good brand. This is a clarifying butt mask, so it just helps with, like, butt acne. But really like this. It's from Mega Babe. A lot of, again, a lot of their stuff is really good. I'm very much a brand person. If I find a brand I enjoy and their quality and consistency is throughout, I will enjoy it until the end. Um, this is Drunk Elephant. I've literally never tried anything from Drunk Elephant. Uh, this is their moisturizer. This is their Glyconic Night Serum. But we'll get into them when I try it. This is an instant cleansing balm from Good Molecules. I know I'm brand repping a lot right now. But if you have not tried Good Molecules, try them. They are about the same price as The Ordinary. Except they're made in Korea. So a lot of their quality is higher, and I just enjoy them a lot more. And they make some amuse amazing stuff. Of their discoloration serum, I have one of their toners. This toner is so amazing. It changed my life. I'm not using it anymore, like not currently. I'm using. It. I'm trying a new one, but I would definitely go back to this one in a heartbeat. It's incredibly amazing. If there's one thing you're going to take away from that video, please be good molecules because they're just amazing. My Lancome skincare, this is the Genifique Lift, this is the eye cream, and this is the moisturizer. 
that Lancome makes some of the best skincare I've ever tried, but it's really expensive. So this is the bubble stuff that I got from work. So I have not tried it yet, but I will potentially. These are my favorite eye masks. These are my day ones and these are my night ones. They're from Patchology. I think this is a set of like 24. This is 15. So each tub is 15. I got them on there on sale and it was like the best day of my life. Beauty gel moisturizer. I have a lot of Origins products and a lot of this stuff I've never tried. Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I have a retinol serum from L'Oreal. I have a buffet from The Ordinary that I've never tried. I have a little retinol serum from Peach and Lily. Um, what do I have? I have the Peach and Lily moisturizer and the glass serum, which I have not tried yet, but I heard it's amazing. Dark spots from It, it Cosmetics. They're vitamin c serum was one of the first ones that i ever tried and it, it gave me a very bougie taste on life this is the peach slices snail rescue wash off snail mucin mask so good and if you don't know now you know peach slices is a sister brand of peach and lily so you get the same consistent amazing quality in a product that's just a little bit cheaper so knock your socks off because their snow muse and stuff is honestly to die for. I just want to sit down with you and have like a genuine honest conversation because these last two months have been so wild. Shanique moved in. My original car died. I got a new car. I feel like so much has been going on at work. And I feel like it's been a really big struggle. And that's something I just want to share with you and be honest that I'm struggling. Because I'm sure we're all struggling. Everyone struggles in their own way. And I just truly enjoy that I get to come here and I just get to <laughs> be myself and be honest and create an environment where everyone around me can be honest because I appreciate you guys so much and I know I'm not here enough, but I will be. And this is the start of change. This year is the start of the truth and change and <sighs> we got this. We are going to do this together and we are going to do the most amazing things. And I am so proud of every single one of you for everything you've ever done in your life because you probably weren't this strong yesterday or the day before or look at yourself a year ago and look at how far you have come. You are doing the most amazing things for yourself and that is the most important. Because you got to work on yourself before you can even think about being with somebody else or just be you and do what makes you happy because that is all that matters. Okay. Let's get into my lips. There's a lot. This is my lips and lashes drawer. Also, I have like some setting sprays. This is, I remember when the Tutti Frutti collection came out. This is probably like four years old, but I do still use it. So, this is the Becca Zero again, no longer sold in stores. Lashes. lashes. I have not worn lashes in about two months and I still own an absurd amount like an absurd amount of lashes for no reason oh there's another one I have nails in here like fake nails I did not know that I don't go through these drawers as much as I probably should. Um, my favorite lip balm is the Dionis Goat Milk. It's so good. This is Revolution's new lip oil. So good. I own it. This is the Lust Clear, and I own it in Glam Pink, I think. It's like a like clear pinky. It's not in here. I 
It's in my work bag. The professional super setter. Another setting spray. The Milani lip oil. If you guys don't own this, go get it because it's just oh so beautiful. Gives you such a luscious looking lip. Um, my hair clip is in here. This is the Urban Decay, one of those shake lipsticks. I don't know what it's called. But you like shake it for five seconds and then it like dries down really nice. It's a little sticky, but it's really pretty. I have it in PDA, really nice red. I have a lot of NARS. NARS is one of my absolute favorite brands. Don't know if you know that, but now you do. Clay Magnetic Eyeliner, I've never used. A Kylie Plumping Gloss. I love these, but hate to say it, she just does not put enough product in them but they're also not super duper expensive so i can't be mad about it but it's in like this taupey brown i have this Haas labs lip oil i am very into the lip oil game right now i have this winky lux lipstick it's in shade confetti really cute the fenty cold hearted amazing amazing this really good this is the it cosmetics pillow lips solid serum in shade humble this is what i'm wearing right now in case you want it i'll probably also put what i'm wearing in the description box below probably just make it easier for you guys just in case cool more fenty more kylie more fenty more milani <laughs> Ulta Beauty lip stain, ColourPop, Too Faced, which I don't talk about very often, but Too Faced is actually used to be one of my favorite brands. So I used to have a lot of love and compassion for them, but we ain't there anymore. Mac, Mac, some Nude Stick. Nude Stick is a really good brand. I don't know if any of you had tried their stuff. And then I have my all-time favorite lip oil, the Kylie lip oil. I have three of them. I got them for Christmas, and I'm so grateful. <laughs> People who know you know you, and you should be known because you're worth it. So this next drawer is one of my favorites. It is my palette, so we get to see all the pretty things that I never wear. I used to be a big eyeshadow girl, and I'm not anymore, and it makes me so, it makes me honestly really sad, because I want to get more into my makeup again, but it feels a lot when it's work, like I feel like at work it's work. This is my Jeffree Star X Morphe palette, I remember buying this in store and being so mad at myself for not getting the strawberry smelling setting spray. I do not know who Nyan is. I'm sorry if I butchered that. But I do really love your palette. Out of everything Morphe has like kind of come out with in the last year, I think this has been my all-time favorite. She obviously had a very big creative vision, and I think that's really important, especially in the makeup industry. I have some like face jewelry. Face bedazzles, some face glitter. So sorry guys, my battery totally died on me. Can you believe that? I'm not surprised, I've been using my camera a lot lately. I have had it for about two months too. I bought it around the last time I posted my last video. And I was super excited, I think I talked about it. But I really haven't used it. But I did just get a new computer today, so it will make it so much easier to edit. I'll talk about all that stuff in really another video. I, this is the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy. I adore this palette, it's one of my favorites. And it's been out for so long. James Charles. I hope you guys know how much I enjoy posting on YouTube. Makeup used to be that creative outlet for me. 
and now it's become filmmaking and editing and I love all the skills you kind of have to learn to make YouTube and I like that it's a nice it feels like a, a challenge and I really enjoy this and I'm really excited to see where this takes us because I think we're gonna do great things Manani that I've literally never touched and I've owned for like seven months Love this palette. I I rather enjoy Jeffrey. I think the products that he makes are of an extremely consistent basis and made of a continuously quality product. Where a lot of other brands don't do that. Maddie Ziegler X Morphe. I've used these two colors. I think sometimes it's sad to see how much makeup I have, but also makeup has been one of my only outlets since I was pretty young. Since I was probably like, maybe not too young, like 11. It became one of my biggest outlets. So I'm not surprised that I have a ton of it. What kind of outlet do you guys use creatively? Do you like to write, draw? Do you enjoy like physical activity? Like, ah, that's the thing, right? I feel like there are different outlets. There, I feel like there's creative outlets sometimes and there's like physical outlets. So like physically, I like to, I love to go to like Six Flags in the summer. It's one of my absolute favorite things to do. Um, I am definitely planning on taking you guys this year. I think we're gonna have an amazing time together. I do really want to start posting on Instagram again, and I think I said it in the beginning of the video. Let's talk about this for a second. I really want to just be more engaged with you. I really want to be there for you, and I want you guys to be there for me, because it's a journey we're going on together. And... I want to start an Instagram again. I want to start posting there. I don't know if you guys know this, but I haven't had any social media for probably about the last two months. Easily. If not longer than that. Um, so I want to get Instagram back, start posting on there, start posting on my stories, and then I want to start a TikTok eventually. We're not going to push it, but eventually I would love to start a TikTok because I think that's content that I can give you in short form that you guys really enjoy because I do like these long sit down videos but sometimes I'm like, this is awkward but we just gotta have fun with it. This is my everyday drawer. In my personal opinion, this drawer is the most chaotic but it does have my favorite mirror in it it's by benefit and it's my most favorite thing ever um i did just get the glow stick from super goop you need it it's a lifesaver i am wearing it today um this is my current favorite mascara it's the hourglass this is the aurora palette from anastasia abh because i probably said it wrong this is Urban Decay's new concealer in shade in Quickie. Elf's new concealer, their Halo Glow. She's actually been out for a while now. We just got it in our Ulta. Um, I have the Naughty and Spice from Nude Stick. A Cream Shop Blush. Supergoop's Unseen Sunscreen. They are one of my favorite sunscreen brands. I adore them. NARS, um, their Light Reflective Foundation. I have their Orgasm Blush. Oh, this is the Super Orgasm, actually. I just bought this Morphe Pink Setting Powder. Love it. I'm wearing it today. Um, Too Faced Highlighter. Elf Putty Primer. A ColourPop Blush, which I love. Benefit blush. I have about three of these and I know one of them is broken. Oh, yep, we found it. <laughs> but I love it too much to throw it away. 
Um, this is from One Size, which I know is Patrick Stars. Um, I think it's a little too yellow, but Sephora scares me, so. Um, I have this. I don't know really what the brand is. I don't know how to say it, but it's just one of those, um, like colored liquid eyeliners. Bought it in a Morphe store in Jersey. Very ironic. I think it's so crazy that they closed all of their stores, but I don't know too much about it, so I'm not going to say anything else. I have some jumbo pencils, from Essence Brow Gel, and a filling pen from Benefit, which is my favorite. Um, lip liner. I have a NYX FX body and face paint. I have a mini of the Fenty How Many Carrots Body Highlighter. This is... That guy is so cute. My absolute favorite MAC blush. The Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I have more highlighters. I have a couple bit more foundations. And I have I have so much. Um, some more concealers. Even more foundations. I have this highlighting palette from Too Faced. I have a butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. Um, this is a highlighter and blush duo from Too Faced. And I have another Benefit blush. Another foundation, a thing of liquid glitter, the ABH Brow Freeze, a setting powder, Benefit Pomade, oh, my Care Bear Blush from Wet n Wild, and then a bunch of eyeliners. I have one from Lancome, Rem, and Benefit. I really just wanted to sit down like I haven't been saying this entire video <laughs> and say thank you I really hope that you guys uh, enjoyed this video I hope you made it this far A and then B I just wanted to sit down and say you guys are amazing you're gonna do the most amazing things every day because you're great And I'm so proud of you for everything that you have accomplished and everything you are going to accomplish. And let's hang out and go on this journey together. I love you guys. I will see you next time. Um, let's hope that I can convince Shanique that we can do an apartment tour next week. So stay tuned for all that. I love you. And I hope you have the most amazing day.